Movie Fans here again and today I thought I'd do a little bit of Peter News that's right Peter News things to come and things ready to come on the way why not why not so today I just thought I'd do a little bit of things I'm planning on doing things I'm hoping to do and things I'm planning on doing why not why not so as you can see I've got a little bit of rate so working out it's pretty dud and you do know I've been having a rant lately about the fact that they're sorting down Aston swimming baths. And how do I feel about that? Fucking disgusted. Disgusted that a tousle ain't doing with the bloody finger. Yes, the crying it tosses too much, but mm, all fair said and done. I fancy a change. Yep, I fancy a change. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on going to Denton. Swimming baths, it's not far from me. Just one tip bus ride, and I'm going to do Denton to go. I do know that Denton's brand new swimming baths, it's a brand new sauna, everything looks beautiful. I've looked up on the internet, and it looks blading lovely. So, why not? Why not give Denton a go? Unless you know, we said bye to my beautiful manager, being the beautiful Thursday, and I've got to admit, I've got to admit, it's not going to be the same without her. It is not going to be the bloody same without her. But, you know, got to get on with it. You know, got to get on. So, I'm going to keep doing my movies, keep doing my 80s. Not my 80s, I've done my 80s. Done my 80s, but I'm going to keep doing my video nasties. And talk about other things on the way. Other things on the way and other things on the horizon. Why not? Why not? So that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on giving a go at talking about my favourite movies, my favourite hobbies, and so on. So if anyone, anyone likes what I'm talking about, anyone's into what I'm talking about, and anyone's not sub to me yet, pass that magic button, or leave a nice comment, or a beautiful thumbs up. So anyway, without ado, I thought I saw me DVDs. I've got a few new DVDs. And a few new movies, so I figure what the fuck. Man, not saw it. So I've got a Blu ray, I remember saw in the DVD, but this is the original, the original, the classic by Tom Tarpenter. Now, Tom Tarpenter, as you know, was known for doing Harry Reid, but before Harry Reid, he did a sci fi comedy booth student film called Deep, Deep Dark Sky. Now, Dark Sky does. Was the film that inspired Whitley Stop the down to sort of like a remake, that being Alien was more horror. But you could definitely see if you've seen a movie called Deep Dark Sty, you definitely see the impact of what Alien was. Even though that's more laughable, it's a beach ball. Says I'm not smoking shit here. It's a fucking beach ball in a spaceship attacking astronauts. You can see the similarity of Alien, and. After the process of doing Deep Dark Sky, he did this film, this film on Blu-ray. That being Apollo, you can see it, Apollo, Piecing Apollo 13, say it again, Attack on Piecing 13. I remember saw in the remake, this is the original, it's on Blu-ray, I've been got a lot of Blu-rays, so I've got a Blu-ray player, so whenever I've got time, I've got wait to do this a go. I love the art cover in it, it's definitely a good marketing too, and this again was the film of Tron Tarpenter, and as you know, two years after this, he did the original, the tacit Halloween, which definitely changed the look of slasher films. There you go, Assault on PC 13, I love the art cover, very good film, I'll probably watch it one day around the world, who knows, I might review it. You probably know this one, Tacit from West Haven. And I've never known this, but that being Salmon Lock. That's right, Salmon Lock. Now, remember the TV show called Salmon Lock? Come out in the late 70s. There's the uh, movie version. And this is a dud one. I mean, it's a dud one. If I remember right there, could be right, could be one. Bad thing because of diet. So I'm talking about the title. That being John Hooper. The John Hooper, we all know, did Sexy Chainsaw Massacre. Did this film and what a damn good film, Sam Lock. I was more into the TV series, but the move is not a bad one. So that's the movie of Sam Lock from 
as we all know, Stephen King. Speaking of Stephen King, I remember reviewing it, so I got it. That being it. Remember what's in this when I was a kid? Stead the shit out of me. It's a lot better than the fucking remake. It still is. I think Tim Tura really pays a dud it. It's a dud in. That's the back. It's a two sided one because it's a very long film. There you go. That's it. Um, I'm half and half about this one. We've heard mixed reviews. I remember watching Rambo for Life's review about it. And um, that being, I could be wrong, one, it could have been Rambo for Life and OCP Communications did this. That being the new Fist of Fura. And this, that's Taki Tan. We all know that Fist of Fura, the original one, which I reviewed, starred the legend Bruce Lee. And they did a lot of sequels of Fist of Fury. I remember ranting the one what was called Fist of Fury 2 and what a piece of fucking shit it was. Because it made the character, the character that Bruce Lee paid, it made everything he went through in number one pointless. I'll say it again. It made it pointless because he got shot, he got shot to shit. You don't actually see it, it's off steam, it freezes with Bruce Lee jumping in the air. You get the, the noise what Bruce Lee was noted for. Ah! All that, and you hear shooting effects, and you see it off steam. Just to find out that in number two, he got shot to fuck, which you know, like the end. The do, it was a love of his life, kills herself, and it was part of this. They all got the, the studio that he fought for was being fucking bullied again, and instead, it's a remake of number one. They made a lot of sequels, and this was one of them. Now, I like Taki Tan. I like Taki Tan when he got his own identity, say it again, his own identity when he was doing films, whether it was like the peace stories, whether it was, I can remember the name of the film, let me think of it, I can't remember it, but it'll come to me, but when he was doing films that say like peace story, that's it, Armour of Dodd, when he was doing films like peace story, Armour of Dodd, films like that, I love Taki Tan in. I love him in that. I like some of his early stuff, whether it be Drunken Master and other films, what he did. But his very, very, very early films, after, not long after Bruce Lee died, we all know there was a lot of Bruce Lee imitators out there. And sadly to say, Taki Tan was one of them. This was before Taki Tan, you could say, was Taki Tan. So you know he got his big name there. Taki Tan was more or less imitating Bruce Lee, classing in. Um, so basically, you could say it's a Bruce Lee rip-off. But I like Taki Tan. I'm going to give it a go. Sadly to say, I've heard they die copy the ending of the original. So basically, putting it bluntly, it has a downbeat ending. But I like Taki Tan. So let's get a bit of Taki in my life. There we go. Very long Taki Tan there. That being the new Fist of Fury. And long and last and least, which me soons. Peace Story. This is not the one I've mentioned Peace Story before, but this one is the utility of Peace Story. This is all of them. One, so you can see it. Two, and three of Peace Story. That's good, good find. I thought I saw them off to all use YouTube fans out there. Now, I keep saying it. If anyone's got any DVDs I'd like to show off or anything they want to talk about, let me know. But, yep. Yeah, at the moment, this one's laughable. It's fucking laughable. The weather, the rhetoric, the typical news, which sort of sums up what the news is, full of BS, reckons we're going to have the hottest heat wave. We're going to be melting people. We're going to turn into toast. It's going to be so hot, they're warning us, this one's going to be the one. In the irony, every time they say this is going to be a hot heat wave, it's going to be like 1976 again. In it, I want it, we get fucking never ending rain. But I'm going to give it a shot. The rain is going to come in orders. Now, as we know, the weather is getting on my fucking tits. It's getting on my titties. It will not stop fucking raining. Say it again. It will not stop fucking raining. All week I've been getting wet. All fucking week. But who knows? Hopefully they might be right. I'm sure they're giving us all a warning. Ooh, it's hot, it's hot. We have hot countries. We have deserts. News. When are you going to stop fucking milking? When, 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 when? But there you go. 
Anyway, other than that, people, can't wait to see you next week. Can't wait to do some more stuff, talk about more films, more hobbies, and more things to do. But until then, be smart, be safe. See you later.